Dr. Christopher Weiss's job is a little intense. We get ourselves into position relative to uh, the uh, tornado producing storms. And if everything goes right, you can see the contact of the tornado with the ground. He chases tornadoes with a portable Doppler radar, placing it near where he expects a twister will form. With it, we can make those cr critical measurements of the wind field near the surface. Back at Texas Tech, Dr. Daryl James, a mechanical engineer, takes the data Christopher gathers in the field and uses it to simulate tornadoes and the damage they do, testing various structure types against flying debris. Reinforced brick is the one that you see doing the best. When I'm saying reinforced, I'm saying brick that has on the backside of it kind of uh, oftentimes like cinder blocks that are that the each each cell is filled with with concrete and there's rebar in there. Those type of exteriors is what I have seen to, uh, to withstand uh, those missiles. While debris can cause damage, the wind can lift a house off the ground. They not only have the push, but they also have a suction up. And that pull, that vertical lift up is very, very different and, and it can far exceed the weight of the building. Homes that are improperly or inadequately secured to the ground are most at risk for being picked up and tossed around. In addition to mobile homes, Dr. James says that pier and beam style homes can also be easily ripped out of the ground, suggesting you should evacuate those types of homes for sturdier ones in the event of a tornado. In Austin, meteorologist Nick Bannon, KXAN News.